Hello, my sisters. How y'all doing today? Oh, I tell y'all, I know I'm cutting my head off, but we'll let it slide. Oh, this has been a great day. So, y'all see what I'm eating, huh? Y'all know, uh, I got them leftovers, you know, I'm that leftover queen. Okay, all my new subscribers, I know y'all see me in my same pink shirt. I did two videos in the same day. Ha, ha, ha. So, um, all my new subscribers, I have to, I have to, my head is, my head is too low. Y'all give me a moment. Is that better? A little bit, huh? All my new subscribers that's joining us today, don't forget to Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Don't forget to thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to comment, share, and like. Thank you for coming back. So let's toast. Cocktails and convo. Come on in. Take a seat. Bring your Kool-Aid, your water, your cocktail, your food, your snacks. We're going to talk about online dating. Uh, so salute, salute to all successful marriages. May you all have great love. And when you get to 20 years, remember your first date. Go on it to the same place if it's still there. So salute, salute. Sip, sip, sip that good stuff, that hood stuff. Yeah, it's clink, clink. Mm. Oh, it's kind of strong. Oh, y'all, let the queen right in front of you. Y'all know, y'all remember this? I got some leftover sausage, some sticky rice, and some shrimp. And I got my Thai rice uh, dipping sauce again. But I got me some leftover B-Love sauce for them shrimp that I wanted. So we're going to switch sides. Switch. Okay, y'all. Tonight, I want to talk about online dating. Mm. Oh God. Every little soft just get better and better. Every day. Okay, we're gonna talk about online dating. There's so many online dating companies today. So I took the liberty to search out the top five or what's it, ten online dating sites, right? I think the number one was Match.com. Let's talk about that one first. When I was in Frisco, before I moved back here to uh, Houston, I uh, was on Match.com. And I got a lot of dates scheduled, right? A lot of them reached out to me. But one thing I realized that men, when they do their online profile, they don't change their pictures. <laughs> Some women don't either. Y'all, you know, I'm pulling their skin off. I don't like their skin on sausages all the time. Uh, they forget to update them pictures. And you get to the meeting place, they about this one guy. And I know I was, I, I know I was off, but I was like, dude, you lied. I had the best voice on the phone. Almost like that love is blind. <laughs> he had the best speaking voice, and he was a radio host as well. And we talked for about two weeks. So I picked the place to meet. It was in the open. And um, mm, this is so good. I went to meet him, right? 
And Paul King was awful that particular day. So I had called him up because he was already there at this Starbucks, right? And so he said, well, I'll step outside and I'll direct you to the garage across the street, right? So I said, okay. He stepped outside. I said, God damn it. I wanted to keep going, y'all. I just wanted to just turn, make a left, and just keep going because he was nothing like he looked like on, on, that, on, that, on that profile. Nothing but the color. <laughs> so anyway, I do. I go park my car. I get up to across the street. I get to the Starbucks. She was sitting outside the table outside. And I said, I didn't even know it was going to come out like it did, but it did because I was so disappointed because, you know, I had my, my hopes of high meeting this nice dude with this voice. He was tall. He had gained 200 damn pounds. He didn't tell me. I don't have a problem with dating a big guy. No, I'm just he's not 400 pounds. But if, if he would have told me, I would have known what to expect. But he lied. So, before I knew my mouth say, you don't look nothing like your picture. <laughs> I, it just came out, y'all. And he said, well, hello. And I said, I am so sorry. But I'm just a little thrown back because... You don't look like your picture. I say you're handsome and all, but you look a little different. So went in, and got he he got my favorite coffee. You know I watched him as he walked. You know we we all we always want that man with that swag. You know what? You don't even have to be cute, but if you got some swag, you you you, you it, something can happen. He walked with a bounce like this. I'm like, uh-uh, uh <laughs> So I already had turned it off in my head. Y'all know that, huh? Y'all know. So we do sit down talking because he 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 is a radio uh, personality out there and he had good conversation. Like he always did. That's what drew my attention. Honey, it was coming on a third hour. A second cup of coffee. A good conversation. So I said, well, are you going to invite me out to eat or something? He said, no. Ooh, that good girl came alive. I say, oh, okay, thank you. So I got my purse. I got my keys. I hear my words to myself. You know, I can be a little spicy when I want to, and that's true. I said, uh uh. I'm not going to give him that. It'd be too much for him. He ain't even worthy of that. So, he said, oh, so you just going to pack your stuff and leave? Fool! What the hell you think I'm going to do? You didn't get me up three hours just past my dinner time. He said, no, I was just playing. Come on. So it's this place right outside of Frisco. And they had a street called Lover's Lane, right? So he took me on Lover's Lane. <laughs> street to his uh, seafood restaurant. So he had told me he had lost all his weight and Da, da 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 So when the waiter came, I ordered the three-piece fish. But with this three-piece fish, fish it, it had uh, hash browns, french fries. For some reason, it came with a bowl of pinto beans for free or whatever they had. And coleslaw, coleslaw, uh, Texas toast and something, right? And I, so I ordered a cocktail, of course. So... He told her he wanted something. I didn't quite, I didn't quite hear him. So when the lady bring our food out, she brought him the same thing I ordered, right? And I'm thinking, like, he said he he eating for a diet. They ain't no diet food. 
So he gonna tell her, he gonna say this. I didn't hear what he said because he kind of whispered what he wanted, right? So when she brought out dinner, he had the same thing I had. Uh, he said, I told you I wanted salad. She said, no, you didn't. <laughs> she said, no, you didn't tell me you wanted salad, sir. He said, that's all right. I'll keep this. I'm like, you know what? So he's just trying to play it up, right? So we eating. I got full off the second piece of fish. Um, I ate one hash brown. I didn't like the pencil beans at all. And they were over rice. I did eat my french fries because they were crunchy. So I asked him, I said, well, I don't want to waste the food. I said, would you like to have my leftovers? He took everything that was on my plate, y'all, and he ate it. You ain't on no damn diet. Quit lying. So now it's time to leave, and I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm First of all, I'm ready to get home, take off these clothes, because mm, I'm dressed up, and he got on some shorts and uh, a baseball hat turned to the back. That was a turn off, too, because you knew we had a, 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 me a meeting to meet. And I had asked him, I said, you been playing baseball or something? He said, no, but I, I was out there hosting something. He was the MC for something, and he didn't have time to go home and change clothes. And so I'm thinking, like, you know what? Your bitch, you just stank. So now it's time to go home. He walked me to my car. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm getting in. I'm like, thank you, you know, thank you. I don't know how much, much more things to say, but thank you. Because you, you, you didn't have to do what you did. Thank you for the coffee. And seafood. So, you know, I'm getting in my car. You know how back in the old days, he just stuck his hand in there and rolled my window down. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to sit out here and talk to you. I'm ready to go home and take my clothes off and give me a real drink. Right? It was a Friday night. So, he said, I would love to see you again. And then if, if he could read my mind, he wouldn't have said that. I, mm -mm. He, would, he would not have said that. And I'm thinking in my mind, and I don't want to be ugly to people either, y'all. So he's saying, you know, I would love to see you again. You know, I'm going I'm to run up the street to the store. I got a few items to pick up, but I would love to talk to you again. Because he did have that voice, y'all. He had that voice. But because he didn't match what he said he looked like, he lied, and I had turned myself off. When he said, I would sure love to see you again, I'm thinking like, you better close your eyes and dream about this hood girl because you ain't gonna see me no more other than in a dream or a thought. Mm -mm. So I said, well, look here, um, I have a bit to drive, and I would love to just go home and relax, and if I'm still woke by the time you reach your home, text me. I'm thinking like, don't call, text. Okay? So that was one failed online date. So I have another date with a guy. He's still friends with me on Instagram, though. Um, we met at a cigar lounge because we both were into cigars and, um, I went through all his pictures and I, and I asked him, I say, uh, are all your pictures up to date? And he told me that the last four or five were recent and I'm thinking, okay, he, he, he looked pretty good. So he must've had that camera angle where we, how we make ourselves look skinny or thinner. <laughs> Because when he walked, I was already at the cigar lounge and I was flirting with the, well, I wasn't flirting with the guys, but kind of sort of, but the guys were flirting. We, one of the white guys in the now, he said, baby, you're so beautiful. I don't have to know nothing about you. I just want to know if you'll marry me. And I'm like, mm-hmm. So he walked in, very well dressed, very well dressed, shoes was on point. He did not look. 
like them latest three or four pictures. He had that 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 skinny angle on that damn picture phone. And he had shades on. He had some good lips. And he still had good conversation. So he sits down. <laughs> So, he just uh, sat down by me and we was talking. And so, um, we smoked. He said, you so sexy when you smoke, but you look like you've been doing it forever. I said, thank you. So, at the end of all that, he said, I would like to take you out. Now, now that's, that's what I'm talking about. So even though he didn't look as thin as those three or four last photos, his kindness was like about everything, right? He had some good teeth too, that counts. So we get to <laughs> the restaurant. It was, it was just right down in the same parking lot of the cigar lounge. I said, why don't you take off your, your glasses, your shades? He said, well, they were those... Transform glasses, whatever they call transitioning glasses. So I said, oh, I'm gonna look in your eyes. So he he took them off and he you know he had one of those uh, wandering eyes and that was okay too. Um, but he began to eat right. It was this Mexican restaurant and he brought the chips out. So as he ate, I watched him. Every time he had a chip, he stuck it on the side over there because I never really saw the top teeth. I saw the bottom teeth in partial. So um, he kept sticking his chip on the side. I'm thinking, all right, is he missing some tooth that I haven't seen? You know, because sometimes if you're missing teeth for so long, you have a certain way you can hold your lip. Um, you don't see right off hand. So... I'm thinking like, okay, but I wasn't attracted to him to make him a boyfriend either. You know, everybody you meet, I'll see it again. You're supposed to be with him. So he walked me to my car and he kissed me on my hand. Actually, he kissed my hand. Yeah, I thought that was sweet. But when he called me the next day, I asked him, I say, the way you were eating... I said, uh, do you have do you have enough teeth up there? He said, oh, excuse me. Well, I have false teeth, and I didn't want you to know. What? You don't want me to know what? That you got they teeth. And I'm sure you paid a pretty penny. They still teeth. Mm-hmm. I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> I got to tell y'all <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> what I said. Thank y'all. I love y'all. That's why I can't stop doing videos just to sit here and talk with y'all. Thank y'all for coming back. I have five shrimp left out of ten. These will not be leftovers. <laughs> From the leftovers. I love y'all.